finances as individuals age and get older. Many people are on fixed incomes, but yet they have their set desires of where their money goes or how it's spent. Um, younger your children grow up and become the uh, executors of those finances. Mm -hmm. There's not always agreement as far as how the money is to be spent. You know, I've heard stories of the uh, the parent getting upset because the adult child is now changing the way things go. Um, I've heard horror stories, actually. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've seen horror stories many times. And I want to go back to what I said initially. One of the things that I see causes a lot of horror stories or enables it is lack of communication, lack of talking about this very issue. Parents not talking to their uh, children about it or their grandparents and vice versa uh, because for whatever reasons, there's a lot of emotions involved. Mm. When you open up about finances, you're dealing with some very strong personal information. So it's hard to share. So you gotta kinda pick your spot and be kind and gentle when you do, whether you're an older person or a younger person. But one thing that helps, I found, is that you have a conversation with someone who understands finances, like a financial advisor, many of them around, just have a conversation. Most of them won't charge you for that. Just sit down, explain your situation, and reveal what you have, and have a conversation around these issues. Start with you. If you're the one that has the issue and a, and a concern, then start a conversation. Now, when it comes to things like property, things that uh, have some monetary value. And once that individual passes away, it's gonna be passed on somewhere. So maybe they wanna donate that to other organizations or they wanna, they wanna know that part of what they own is going to continue to invest in those ministries that they appreciate. Um, how can they set things up so, let's say a portion of their house is gonna go to uh, a charity? Thank you very much. Yes, yes. That is a broad topic. Let me reemphasize that each situation is unique. I have a lot of clients come in and tell me, well, my Aunt Bessie said this, my cousin Joe said this, therefore I'm gonna do that. And that's not bad, but what you need to do is talk to someone that has some understanding about the broad spectrum of things that you can do. Anybody that owns anything can, out of the generosity of their heart, which we promote, give things away and make sure those things go at death or even before death to where they want it to go. As a believer, one of the last things we get the opportunity to do is to give when we pass away out of our possessions and things that God has allowed us to be steward over. As a believer, as you know, we don't own any of it anyway, and we're sure not taking any of it with us. So it is a responsibility that is upon us as believers to do the best we can to make sure we're following God's line on what we wanted to do. We are about out of time and we have opened up quite a few doors with a yes. lot of topics that we could talk a lot more about. But one thing I've heard you say over and over again is the importance of a conversation. Yes. Conversations not just with family members, but also with professional individuals who can help. And you have said there are a lot of people yes. that are available, but I know that Faith Investment Services is a faith-based organization. Before we're, we're done, why don't you just briefly tell me what does your organization do and how can you help in these situations? We invite people to fill out a questionnaire before you come to meet with us. We do not, we only work with those that want to work with us. So we set the stage by filling out a questionnaire, then you're allowed to sit down and talk with me. We will talk with anybody as long as they're willing to put some skin in the game by taking the time to fill out a questionnaire. So when we meet, we just have a conversation. There's no selling going on. There's no anticipation of any ulterior motives or anything like that. We just have a conversation and see what happens because we found that each situation is unique. Many times we're able to direct people to go, go see this professional, go see this professional. You might want to consider this, you might want to consider that. And we can take care of that in an initial conversation very easily. And from that point on, there's a relationship started. And then the person decides whether they want to continue that relationship or not. So we're here as a resource person first and foremost, and then from there we decide how people can be helped in more particular ways. Each situation is unique. That's why I don't like making broad statements about every situation, because it's not for everybody. So that's what we try to do. And I know that personally you see what you're doing as a ministry. Absolutely, absolutely. We appreciate that. We get a chance to pray with people and encourage them 
And it's interesting, when we see people, when they share and open their hearts about things, it's like God shows up and gives wisdom and insight and clarification. It's not like he's been absent, but it's in the middle of a conversation about these issues that God is giving direction. And we always pray for clarity of mind and purpose and that we have peace of the decisions that we make. And credit to God. I mean, we have the opportunity to be an encouragement to people, and that's what we're about. All right, Gary Reese. Faith Investment Services. Thank you so much. If you'd Thank like you. to uh, continue a conversation with Gary, here is where you can find him. The website is on the screen, myfaithinvestments.com, and his email address is gary.reese at cfdinvestments.com. And of course, you can contact us here at TV44 if you have any questions about any of the information that we just shared with you or more information about how you can get in touch with Gary Reese. Thank you so much for you. uh, your well, wisdom, your knowledge, and for coming to Faith and Friends to share it with us today. Thank you, my privilege.